Hi everybody, in today's Unity tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use Text Mesh Pro and the fonts. You know, it comes when you uh, kind of import the Text Mesh Pro stuff, you have this Liberation Sans font, but what about other fonts? So let's just start up in project here in Unity. So I'm going to open up my Unity Hub. Unity Hub and I can make a new project. I always make my projects 3D, so I'll just leave this one 3D and I'll say fonts. I'll say TM Pro. TM Pro font. Create project. Let that rev itself up. Okay, so we got a new Unity project. Let me close that and let's maximize this. So here's a blank scene, a 3D scene. Let's um, add some Text Mesh Pro text. So I'll go to Sample Scene, right click, Game Object UI for User Interface, Text Mesh Pro Text. Okay. Um, so it's going to have to import some essential files into my project. So I could use Text Mesh Pro Text. So I'll do that. Just the essential files. That's all I care about. And now here's the folder with those essential files. And let's see, where is the text? So if I Double click, I see the text is there. Let's, even though this is a 3D project, let me look at it in 2D and zoom out. All this area in white is the user interface area, the canvas. So I could position this by, um, let's use the hand, and I could, oops, that's moving everything. Use the arrows, and I can move around like this, or I could have it anchor to a location on the screen. I press this and then use the Alt key, hold down the Alt key, and then press this, and that centers the text. And that centers the text box on the screen. And then I could use this to center the text in the text box. It's kind of hard to see. So with the sky box in the background, so let me just, um, where is it? Somewhere where I could view the sky box, turn off viewing the sky box. No, somewhere here, here, sky box. So on this icon here, just turn off the sky box. There. So now I can just see the text. And in there I could say whatever. <laughs> whatever. And you can see as I type something and it's bigger than the text box, then what happens is it just wraps around. I could use this button here called auto size. And then it would try to fit the text in the box. Or if I don't use auto size, I could, um, here's the scale. I could change the size of the text box, you know, using these things here. Just remember, ooh, look at that. This is a stretch, so it's stretching it this way. Oh, interesting. Anyway, so there's some text here, right? And I think I'll use the auto size there. I also could change the size over here. I could change the height to 200 or 100, and I change the width to 800. Oops, 800? All right, because that's how big the area is 600. I could say whatever. Um, now when I look at this um, text mesh pro text object, here's the properties is where it says the text and here it says the material and the font. So the, the material it's available here is the Liberation Sans SDF. And there's only one other SDF that's this one available. So let's see what this one looks like. If I select that one, that's Liberation Sans. And but what about if we want some other fonts, right? That's the whole thing about this tutorial. So let's go ahead and open up the browser window. I have Chrome. And let me look for free fonts that I could download. All right. And there's 1,001 free fonts. That's the first choice there. I'm going to pick that. And we could see already there's a bunch of different fonts, right? So I could just pick ones I like. I could kind of try to um, group them up in the category. I don't know what Asian Arabic looks like. Ooh, kind of cool. Look at that. All right, so I could pick one of these. And also for the fonts, there's ones that are just plain old free, and there's ones that are free for personal use. I could pick the license type. So I'm going to pick the free, you know, because everything I'm trying to do on, on my channel is like using things that are free. So I could pick a font, and let me see. This one, I could just download it. And you may have to, like, um, register on the site to download fonts. Uh, let's see, let's go and put it in the folder with the Unity projects. Here's my Text Control Fonts project. Here's the Assets folder. And I'll make a folder here called um, for my fonts. Okay, just say fonts. And then in here, I'll download this first font. 
that I see. That's one. Uh, let's see what other kind of... There's so many fonts here. 1001 it says, huh? There's bitmap pixel. Fonts that look like this. Minecraftery. Okay, let me download that one. To the fonts folder. I'm just going to pick a couple so we could have something to choose from. Then there's brush. Oh, that looks cool. I'm going to download that. And there's another thing I could do here on this website, 1001 Free Fonts. I could type in the text I want to see. So say I'm making my game Roadrunners racing game. So I could see how that text would look. And then I could say update. I could also change the colors, but now I can kind of see what the text would look like if it's what I want it to say. And you know what? I like, where is it? This one looks kind of cool. Let me try that one. Like a title of a game. So I got like four fonts. Um, is there any other crazy font you want me to try? Uh, let's see this 3D stuff. Also, the 3D has like a background 3D. Okay, so it looks like raised. Oh, that's like blocks. Let me see. Let's just scroll through a couple. Oh, let's say this one in 3D. Now, the thing with the 3D is the color is black and that's white. So it doesn't matter if I change the color to something else. The color of the um, words are going to be like this. You know, they're not going to... Anyway, let me download one. <laughs> and so now I have a couple of fonts I downloaded to a folder to an assets folder here, which we can see right here is a font folder. Now let's go back full screen over here and let's look at this fonts folder. Let me show and explore. So here in this fonts folder I have zips and meta files. Let me sort by type for a minute here. So what I want, I'm just gonna unzip all these here. Let me extract this one. Okay, and extract it to a folder, blow brush. Now I don't need the zip, delete. Then burger doodle, extract. Okay, and now I don't need that zip. Um, and what else? I got two more. I got Edo. Extract. Minecraftery. Extract. And now I don't need the zip. And Osaka San Sarif. Extract. And I don't need the zip. These meta files are from um, Unity. So let's see, when I go back to view Unity, uh, let's see. Okay, then it just shows the folders, and in each folder there is the font. What does it look like on my hard drive here? Eh, everything's all fixed up. Okay, so now I have these fonts here. Um, so text temp. So you say, okay, I downloaded these fonts, right? So now when I come here to the font asset, should I be able to see those fonts? It's not showing them. Um, the reason is because the Text Mesh Pro uses SDF fonts. So you're like, oh, well, how am I going to do this? I finally got SDF fonts I could do. Okay, so there's a tool up here, Window Text Mesh Pro um, Font Asset Creator. This is to make fonts that could be used in Text Mesh Pro. So now I can just pick any of the fonts, like the Blow Brush, right? And then I can say Create a Font Atlas. This is like so it could be used in Text Mesh Pro. And then I could save that Font Atlas now that's ready for Text Mesh Pro. And I could save it. I'll just save it in the upper root of the fonts thing. Save. Okay. Then I could go to the next font, which is this guy. Generate the atlas. Again, do a save to the fonts folder itself. Bam. And I'm going to go through like this and just translate all the fonts I picked. Save. Go up a folder. Save. And then what else do I have? That's Liberation. We know that's the one that's already there. Then there's Minecraft. So generate, save to the font folder, and what's the last one? Osaki. And generate, and save. Okay. So now you're going to see, I can close this little font asset creator window from Unity, and now I can see I have these fonts here. So now if I pick this text property here, now I go to look at the font assets, and now I have multiples. I could pick Blow Brush, Burger, pick each one of these fonts and see the different text. And this is like how I download a font and make it work for me. So I could leave it on the Minecraft, I say whatever. And this is basically how you do, um, how you get your own fonts for a Text Mesh Pro, or how you could, you know, translate a font that you want. Um, then. 
Well, while I'm here, I'll just show you some of the, like, real quick, some of the other stuff you could do. So there's the vertex color. So I could change the color of the text, you know, with this color wheel. And there is color gradient. So now I guess I could have, like, this is a four corners gradient. There's a horizontal gradient with two colors. That So let's say that in this corner we have blue. And then in the next corner over here, we go to red. And you're like, it's not really looking right, is it? And blue to red. I think that's because here I have green. So I have to make this back to white. Yeah, because it's having green and then applying blue to the green and red to the green. Um, then there's some presets. What's that? Do I have any presets? Nope. I guess I can, can I save some of these after I do them. All right, so that's the horizontal gradient, the four corners gradient. Mm. I could say whatever. So you could do, this is what TextMesh Pro is. You could like do things. So there's just a font, but I could make it look a little fancier. <coughs> then I could space the letters further apart from each other or closer together. What's this? Like between words, I could space it or closer together. And I only have one line, but then the lines in the paragraphs could do it too. So ooh, what's these extra settings? Extra settings, margins. So you could play around with a lot more things to take a normal thing and make it look prettier. You know? So that's how you get the fonts, a little bit about how you play around. That's the end of this tutorial. It's a quick one. All right, bye.